there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 24 of Rob Geo Reacts. It's been one week since the last episode, and it's now time for another one, guys. Hope y'all excited today. Um, and for this episode, I'm going to be reacting to Moshi Sleep Story Reactions number one, Close Your Eyes, Sleepy Paws by Miguel Sanchez, and Ranking BT's um, uh, The Lost Art of Longing Mega Collab by Siraman. And uh, yeah, um, Moshi Sleep Story Reactions number one was requested by Miguel Sanchez Extra, Miguel Sanchez's second channel. Yeah, that was pretty weird. Um, and the Mega Collab ranking for BT's The Lost Art of Longing was requested by no one. I reacted to those videos just to give my thoughts on, well, BT's discography for the most part. And um, yeah, uh, the links to the original videos as well as links to Miguel Sanchez and Sierman will be in the description down below in case if you're considering on watching the original material, material as well as subscribing to their channels to show them support. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're reacting to another Moshi-related thing. <laughs> and uh, just to prevent the YouTube algorithms from recommending me baby stuff that's made for kids, uh, I won't be reacting to that video, Moshi Sleep Story Reactions number one on the YouTube platform. But instead, I downloaded the video and I'm reacting to it on my desktop on the computer. And if you don't know what I mean by... Uh, desktop i meant like this you know that that's what i meant by de desktop on the computer like the desktop option or whatever um like just downloaded the video instead of like you know watching it on the youtube platform like i do nowadays yeah but that's to prevent like the youtube algorithms from recommending me make, recommending me videos that that are said is made for kids like i don't want to go through that um so yeah um Without any prelude, let's just um, uh, react to um, Moshi sleep story reactions. Um, and, uh, well, I just want to say a quick note that Moshi or whatever, like, I can tell that it's way out of my demographic and it's made for, like, kids and babies. And, yeah, I'm not a fan of that series. It's It's out of my demographic, so... Yeah, just just a quick note that Miguel Sanchez wanted me to react to this. So, yeah, let's just let's just react. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. Miguel Sanchez, the home of Moshi, Katsuma, Papet, Fury, Zomer, Lovely, and Diablo. Yeah, M Moshi characters. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, here we go. Moshi sleep story reactions. Um eh. Hello everyone! I'm Miguel Sanchez and welcome to the series premiere of Moshi Sleep Story Reactions. Hooray! Uh yeah. Man, we're glad you're here. That's right. Happy New Year everybody! Welcome to the start of our brand new series here on the channel, Moshi Sleep Story Reactions. So welcome everyone. Oh my gosh, this is it. The start of a brand new series here on the, on the channel where we, I'm going to react to every single sleep story made by Moshi, sleep and mindfulness. I have to give credit to them. They were the ones who, who were responsible for their stories. And thank you so much for being here. We hope you guys are having a whole lot of fun as much as you are. And please uh... take the time to have fun with you guys at home. Feel free to make yourself comfortable and let's have some fun through the power of sleep and mindfulness. Hooray! So thank you for coming. Welcome everyone to the show that started it all. Welcome to Moshi Sleep Story Reactions. Man, are you ready for this first episode? Yay, because it's gonna uh, be our show. Yeah, I. Um, I'm ready. I guess. Um, okay. Um, just so you know, I may have to edit out parts of the video. Um, um, because of like copyright purposes, like, like when I went um to see. When I went to see the video on YouTube, I already got recommended the actual, um, the actual, like, um, audio for Close Your Eyes Sleepy Paws, which, which is made for kids. So, yeah, and, and I really don't want to get copyright claimed for that, so I'm just going to probably, like, edit out parts of my reaction. 
I, like it, it doesn't really matter anyway since I'm really not going to say anything while he's reacting to like the Moshi story reactions or whatever. So yeah, <laughs> let's just continue. Here. And to get things started, we need to welcome our new subscribers to the channel. Welcome to the channel, FMBB Texas. Yay! Oh my gosh, you are the first new subscriber of this show. So, what a way to kick off this new series. So, thank you for subscribing, MFBB Texas. If you want to go check us out, leave it on the top right corner of the tree. If I can't find it, I'll leave it in the description below. So, thank you so much for subscribing, MFBB Texas. You are so, so welcome. And so, anyways, without further ado, thank you so much for watching. But now, without further ado, I think we're ready to get started. Sorry, so without further ado, thank you so much for watching, and welcome to the series premiere of Moshi Sleep Story Reactions. For this first ever series, the first first ever episode, for this number episode of the series, I'm going to be reacting to Close Your Eyes, Sleepy Pause, as told by Philip Alexander. So get ready for it. We're going to have a whole lot of fun with this story, and be prepared because it is going to be a whole lot of fun. And sorry, the um, yeah. the official mascot, Sleepy Paws. Hey! <laughs> so get ready for it. We are about to witness a world like you've never seen before. The world of Moshi. Worldwide family television. Uh, well, where oh the power boy. of sleep is always in your favor. So are you ready for this? Great then, let's get started! Now let's get started. First we gotta know what the story is about. About the story. Join a very tired koala on a melodic moonlit journey across the dreamy world of Moshi. Alright, so let's begin. As you can see, all the stories are indicated in blue. We'll be told by Philip Alexander. So, get ready for us. Uh, uh. And again, I'm editing parts of my reaction now sorry. because I don't want to get copyright claimed. So, so we're going to see the Sleepy Paws, this new koala, is a comic box link and the sleepy set of Moshi Monsters and Clubs. They are a periwinkle colored koala. They are the mascot, Moshi, of Moshi Story Life. Now, for what we currently known as Moshi is Sleepy Paws for this. Sleepy Paws enjoys sleeping. Oh my gosh, I know why you guys all gotta say, look at the character's ass, name Sleepy Paws, that is Sleepy Paws, number 1040. That is the number here, 1040. Species, snoozy koala, and rarity is common. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say over here. But now let's get on to the story. As you can see, everything that you are about to listen to is real. Straight from the world of Moshi. You've been warned. And we gotta give you a quick warning out there. Warning, Moshi is the property of Mike Candy. Credit goes out to them. No cover infringement is intended. I don't know that this video is for entertainment purposes only. Thank you for your attention. So here we go, with a runtime of 15 minutes and 3 seconds, we are just about ready to get the show started. Get ready, because here we go, it is about to get started. Oh god, here we without go. Without further without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show! Um, just, I'm, I'm doing a little sign of the cross right now and hoping that my video does not get copyright claimed or said it's made for kids and all that. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just praying right now. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm, yeah, again, I'm going to edit some of my parts of my reaction to this out. <laughs> not that it doesn't matter. Again, I'm not saying anything, not pausing to say anything to say anything regarding this. So, um, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's just do this already. Uh, the animated show, it's all yours. Let's begin. Oh, boy. I'm relaxed already. We're off to the sleepiest, dreamiest corner of a very special place. I'm ready for it. The world of Mashi. Worldwide family television. Here we go. Yeah, one of the 
mean big bad bill. Sleepy Paws keeps walking. Oh man. The silvery moon. Come on. Is this the place where marshlings sleep? Come on. He asks a passing bunny. Oh boy. You've reached your destination. Thank you, look for the owl. I'm sure. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. We get it, yes. Miguel Sanchez. I'm good. Good, good night, sleepy paws. Yeah. And with that, that's the end of the story, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh gosh, round of applause. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm kind of bored so, with this. That's the end of the story, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get to the final thoughts about this story. So close your eyes to be paused. Definitely the best kid, uh, the best I ever saw, I ever listened to. And with that, it's the perfect story to get you going. Man, it's the best I ever, I ever listened to. Therefore, I'm just getting one step. I'm bringing close your eyes to be blocked with a perfect score of 10 out of 10. Yay, um, score. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it yeah, it's like Dead Mouse's uh, wall one is less than two, a perfect ten score. Yeah, um, thank you so, yeah, so, so much. yeah, um, but no, <laughs> but now that but now that that's over, we could we could go back, take a quick breather, and relax. So yay, thank you so much for tuning in, and and we hope you guys had a lot of fun. Power, that's my personal opinion. Feel free to agree or disagree with any thoughts or opinions in the comment section down below. But guys, that's it. That's the end of another episode of that's that's gonna do it for the first ever episode of Moshi Season Four Reactions. Yay! Thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed the series premiere of Moshi Season Four Reactions. And please stay tuned. We got more great content coming tomorrow, including Logo History, Moshi Monsters Biography, and and of course Moshi Season Four Reactions. And be on the lookout for Movie History, Multi Animation Studios, and the Moshi Magical League coming soon. And if you haven't subscribed to my Slack channel, yeah, what are you waiting for? Go check it out because it's just extra. There's a link to it in the description below. So you can go subscribe right now. But guys, that's it. As always, thank you all for watching. I'm Miguel Sanchez. You mean yourself, and I will see you tomorrow on Moshi Sleep Story Reactions. Please tune in. Uh, please tune in tomorrow and stay tuned for the next episode as I react to Yonzi's Moonlit River Cruise, as told by Will Huggins. Keep your eyes peeled for the next episode. It'll be ready before you know it. I'm pretty so sure I won't be having my too. eyes peeled for the next yeah, one. Great content coming to the channel. In the meantime. Alright, anyway guys, all these must come to the end. I want to thank you all for watching today. I'm Miko Sanchez. For most of these reactions, please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to have this new video. Please subscribe to me, turn on subscribe, it's another new video for me as we're on the road to 600 subscribers. I want to thank you all for watching. You are the best. And uh, we hope you guys enjoy the show. Man. Thank you for watching, everybody. And we hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Three... Two, one, done. That's it. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I'm Miguel Sanchez. We'll see you tomorrow for episode two of Moshi Sleep for Reactions as I react to Yonzi's Moonlit River Cruise. That's all my Will Huggins. For now, thanks for watching. Miguel Sanchez. And we'll see you for more content tomorrow. God bless. Happy gaming. Like your squad. We'll see you in another video. And Happy New Year. Laters. Um. Um, yeah, that was, um, Moshi Sleep Story Reactions, um, number one, um, Close Your Eyes, Sleepy Paws by, um, Miguel Sanchez, um, and, um, I'm sorry, Miguel Sanchez, but, um, this, this, uh, this video just, um, got me bored out of my mind and uh i pray that this video does not get copyright claimed and and that that's why i cut down this th my reaction to this um very heavily just so that i don't get like copyright claimed or anything um and um yeah i'm sorry miguel but this this video just just got me bored out of my mind and uh yeah, that's that's the uh, end of um, me reacting to this. Um, so now, now let me um, now it's time for me to react to something that is significantly less boring.
which is the mecha clap ranking of BT's The Lost Art of Longing by Searman. And um, we actually made it to the end of the mecha clap ranking series for BT. So after this reaction, uh, I may take a break from reacting to these mecha clap things for a while, probably like a week or two. Probably at least until the week after the um, Selected Ambio Works 8592 Mecha Collab ranking comes out. Because the next Mecha Collab se series that uh, Serum Man is going to do is going to be on Aphex Twin. And uh, that's, this should be really fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I love Aphex Twin as well. I like all six of his albums, in my opinion, are, 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 are range from pretty good to awesome. Um, Cyro is my least favorite album from Apex Twin, but I still think that album is pretty solid. But, yeah, um, and, uh, The Lost Art of Longing by BT, I think is, like, one of BT's best albums already. Like, it, like, it was, it's seriously, like, the album that 2020 needed, it's, you know, because, you know, 2020 sparked the, like, pandemic, you know, that we're all in right now, and, Albums like this, you know, make our lives a bit better, and yeah, and uh, Lost Art of Longing is a pretty great album. Um, has a ton of standouts, and it also has some uh, tracks on there that really don't interest me all that much. And um, yeah, um, yeah. Without any further delays, let us react to the Mega Collab ranking for the Lost Art of Longing. The last um, mega collab ranking series that I'll read, the last ever um, m um, mega collab thing that I'll react to for a while. Yeah, again, I'll probably take a break from from uh, reacting to those at least until um, the week after the eighty five ninety two mega collab ranking. Don't worry, it's it's not going to be the last ever reaction to that. Um, but. Yeah, just just taking a break from reacting to those after this. So yeah, let's just get started with reacting to the to this mecha collab breaking boys. So yeah, to conclude this uh, BT mecha collab series. So let's do it. All right, at number fourteen we have Game Theory. All right, so um, me and Sierman both ranked this at number thirteen. And the Walking will rank this at number 10. Yeah, not a surprise to me that this was ranked very low. Um, um, like, like, um, it's more like, it's more, it's more or less, it's more just, it's more just like, it's more than, it's more just like a five minute intro with all those really beautiful synth arpeggios. It kind of has a cinematic feel to it almost. And, uh, yeah. It's a pretty good intro, but not one of the best standouts in my opinion. Still pretty good one though. All right, at number 13, we have If I Can Love You Right. Alright, so uh, I ranked this one at number 11, Searman ranked this at number 9, and the Juan Kingo ranked this at number 13. Um, if I Can Love You Right, um, it's not really that interesting to me, but still a pretty good song, though. I, I, I love the chorus, I like the chorus of this one. Yeah, the breakdown for this one, it's it's pretty good, but overall, it's it's not one of the best standouts, but again, still pretty uh, good song here. All right, at number um, thir 12, we have Save Me. Me and the Wan King will both rank this at number four, and the Wan and ugh, me and the Wan King will both rank this at number four, and Searman rank this at number six. Yeah, Save Me is such a great closer. Oh my god, 
Christian Burns really outdone himself with this one. He killed it in his performance. Not in a bad way, but in an awesome way. Like, this this was originally going to be, like, at the bottom half of my list. Being that, you know, it's just, like, Christian Burns singing over um, piano and strings and all the other uh, instruments. Sort of like a... That, that kind of give off a more cinematic feel, like like a game theory. But, oh my god, Save Me just leaves a strong impression. So much of a strong impression that this had to shoot up to my top four uh, in my ranking. Like, it's such an incredible and gratifying closer. <laughs> I got nothing else to say. Awesome track. One of BT's best tracks to date. Probably could crack my honorable mentions, or maybe it would be my honorable mentions if I were to make a top 20 BT list. Just awesome track. Oh, his voice. Oh my god. His voice. He killed it. Um, Alright, at number 11, we have I Will Be Yours. Um, so we all rank this at number 14. It's, uh, it's all our least favorite tracks here. Um, I mean, I do understand the appeal. Like, one person ranked this one at number three. Um, but it's not, it's probably the least interesting track in the entire album. And it doesn't give me anything to say. Um, the production is... Decent, but it it doesn't really really stand out to me, and it does it just doesn't give me anything to say. Um. Next. All right, at number ten we have the war. Alright, so me and Searman both rank this at number 12, and the Wong Kiango rank this at number 5. Ah, oh, the war. Um, yeah, um, this is a track that I really wanted to like more than I do. Um, like, I, I must say, like, the, the war is kind of a unique track in the track listing. Um, it, and it's by far the the most different thing BT has done. Like, it's, like, like the track drops, uh, they, they kind of feel out of place and just make this track, you know, you know, be like fail bait from album title goes here. It just makes it stick out like a sore thumb. But I, w but I won't deny that the other drops that kind of remind me of ESCM, you know, they're, they're really good. But, um... Yeah, I'm sorry. The trap drops just feel really out of place. And yeah, I, I really could see this growing on me. I did listen to it um three times before. But for now, it's at this spot. And um, yeah, it's not going any higher than number 12 right now. Hopefully, it'll be higher. Maybe it'll grow on me. Like I, like I do understand the appeal. Like, e like, even the walking on this Lost Art of Long Review, like, his first impression of the war was like, why the hell is BT making mediocre track drops? <laughs> but, um, yeah, for now it's at number 12, and, um, yeah. Next. All right, at number nine, we have Red Lights. All right, so I rank this one at number nine. Searman rank this at number four, and The Wonky Angle rank this at number 12. Ah, yes, Red Lights. Another unique track in the track listing. It's, it it kind of reminds me a bit of the 80s almost. Like, like it's kind of like 80s-ish pop. Um, and, uh, I can tell that Christian Burns really put a lot of passion in his, in his voice, especially on the chorus. Red Lights is a pretty, uh, a great track on here. Um, 
like I wouldn't consider it like amazing or anything or like perfect 10 out of 10 territory. It's not in my top five, but Red Lights is a pretty great track and and a unique track in the track listing. Probably more unique than the war. Like it really doesn't stick out like, like a sore thumb. And uh yeah. I really like red lights quite a bit. All right, at number eight, we have Beltan Song. <laughs> oh man, I've been wanting to say that in this reaction video since I made that BT tier list video a week ago or, or, or a week or two ago. <laughs> oh my God. So me and the walking of will break this on number two. I swear this is the last time I'll ever make a pit bull joke in any reaction video. And see your rate this at number three. Um, yeah, Veltan Shong. I gotta love Veltan Shong over here. Yeah, but in all seriousness, Veltan Shong, oh my god, what a journey. Ten minutes of BT showcasing everything, you know, that he is good in in terms of like, like, I don't know, like, like minimal techno-ish, like, like progressive house, electro house-ish, like, Oh my god, I really don't have, like, much to say. This is, I think it, like, could crack my top 20 BT track list if I were to ever make one, which I'm probably sure I would, but not right now. Maybe, maybe I will soon, maybe I will not. Um, But if I were to make a BT track list, then Velton Shang would probably make it in my top 20. Like, oh my god. um, I got nothing else to say. Velton Shang is... A, a pretty nice track, like a pretty awesome track right here, and it just made my number two spot. So yeah. This is just fire, man. Oh my god. Wow. All right, at number seven, we have 1 a.m. in Paris. All right, so uh, me and Sierra Man both ranked this at number five, and the Juan King will rank this at number eight. So yeah, 1 a.m. in Paris is a pretty nice um, Deep Houses track. Um, I, I really love the uh, chord progression here. Everything sounds nice and relaxed, and yeah, 1 a.m. in Paris, it, it cracked my uh, top five, and yeah, love this track. I love the music video too, like, so satisfying. All right, at number six, we have No Warning Lights. Wait, wait, like, wait, no, 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 wait, it's not number six, it's number four A, because three songs are tied for the number four spot, yeah. Uh, so yeah, number four A is No Warning Lights, guys. Um. So, um, so yeah, I rank this one at number eight, Searman rank this at number seven, and the Joaquin will rank this at number nine. <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a bad comedian. Unsubscribe. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, w No Warning Lights is a pretty good track here. Um, I really like the, uh, drops that pay off the build-ups. The female vocalist sounds pretty nice, and, uh, yeah. I, I like No Warning Lights. Yeah, the drop is pretty good too. I like this one. Whoa! Oh god, at number 4B we have Windows! All right, so I rank this one at number three, and get this, Searman rank this at number 10, and the Walking Angle rank this at number 11. Oh God, this is not a joke. I actually wholeheartedly love Windows so much. Just wholeheartedly love it. Like, it's like Zed's Illusion on steroids. 
Oh my god, it may be like like the one of the shortest tracks at four minutes, but oh my god. It's just one hell of a crazy track to me. Like wow. Um like this was originally going to be in the middle of my ranking, like number seven, number six. But this song just grew on me so much, so it had to be in my top three. Oh my god. Like, it has a really, really, really catchy hook slash chorus. Windows to let the light shine in, the light shine in. Oh my god. Like, that chorus was literally stuck in my head for days and days on end. Oh my god, I love that chorus. And the ending just gives me life. That that beat slow down the end just gives me life. The light shining, the light shining, boom boom psh. Like that beat slow down the end, like oh my god, like 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 that ending is almost as good as Zed's illusions ending. Like oh my god, and 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 let me just mention the the drop is just a wonderful, wonderful payoff to that build-up. Yeah. I love everything about Windows. Like, I can definitely understand why Ben and Tommy ranked it so low. But to me, it's just an awesome track from, from the first minute to the end of its four-minute running time. Just awesome track, dudes. <laughs> This is a total jam, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, at number 4C, we have The Light Is Always On. Alright, so so uh, I ranked this one at number 10, Searman ranked this at number 11, and The Wonky Angle ranked this at number 7. So yeah. The light is always on, just, uh, like, it made, um, it, it just made it as, um, um, it made it, uh, at, like, at the, uh, tail end of my top ten. Yeah, I really like this one quite a bit, um, it, it, it kind of, um, like, like, I, I really love, you know, um, the 80s-ish feel I kind of get from it almost. Like, like, if I just listen to it. Well, well, maybe not a just to it, but I really do like the breakbeat stuff on here. Definitely better than like the breakbeat stuff that you may hear on like movement and still life. Um, like definitely better than like the hip hop phenomenon or even Fibonacci sequence or Matt Skills, Mike Cheka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do like the light is always on. The male vocalist. Um. Is really giving it giving it his all, pretty much like every other guest uh, vocalist on the album. And yeah, I I like this one. Yeah, pretty good to great. All right, at number three we have Never Odd or Even. Me and the Wong King will both rank this at number six, and Searman rank this at number eight. Yeah, I do like, um, I really do uh, love Never Out or Even. Yeah, just like the progressive, uh, how progressive house ish, uh, vibes I get from that track. It's just, it's just a pretty nice track, and it really, uh, justifies its eight minute running time, I, I believe. So, yeah, Never Out or Even is a great track. Nothing else to say. Ooh, wow. All right, at number two, we have Wildfire. All right, so um, I ranked this one at number seven. Searman ranked this at number two, and the Wankangle ranked this at number three. Um, yeah, I do like Wildfire. I I really think the drop to that one is pretty cool as well. Just listen to that drop. Yeah. 
yeah, I really do uh, like that drop quite a bit. And uh, yeah, just everything about Wildfire, just like, I think it just like really, really sets you up. You know, like, sets you up for that album so much better than Game Theory, though Game Theory is just like a little old uh, cinematic intro there, I, I think. But yeah, Wildfire is just a pretty nice track, and I really could see this going higher on my list in the future. Those build-ups and leading up to that drop, they're really nice. And num at number one, we have Walk Into The Water. And all three of us rank this at number one. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious pick there, no surprises. But oh my god, this track is awesome. Like, I really listened to this one in full and I loved every single second of it. From like the intro to to like those awesome buildups and drops, they're kind of like it, it just kind of goes back to like the these Hopeful Machine days. Like it kind of reminds me of stuff like the Emergency and the Light and things and and other and other really awesome tracks from these Hopeful Machines. And, and Walk into the Water is just an awesome callback to the sounds off of that album. I really love every single second of this track so much that, you know, it has to be my it had to be my number one. Like I really tried avoiding like the obvious choices, but like I I I'm not going to lie, man. Like th this is just an awesome track. Like it would probably make my top 20. If I were to make a BT, like a top 20 BT track list. Yeah, I, I really love the shit out of, out of Walk Into The Water. And yeah, not breaking any new ground when I say that, but awesome track. And it's really catchy too. Oh my God. Uh, genuine thank you to everyone who participated in all these videos. You lot are awesome, and I couldn't be happier to see the enthusiasm for the series. Love you guys. Ah, uh, oh man. And the next series is on Apex Twin. Just a little small jump cut to that announcement. And yeah, more info is coming soon, guys. So, yeah. And this is not the last, um... This is not the last Mega Collab ranking that I'll ever react to, don't worry. But I'm just going to probably take a break from reacting to those things. Probably at least until like a week or two after the 8592 Mega Collab ranking comes out. So yeah, um, yeah, that was, um, um, the Mega Collab ranking of BT's The Lost Art of Longing Mega Collab, um, by Siruman. And yeah, we finally made it to the end of the Mega Collab series for BT. Give yourselves a round of applause to everyone who uh, participated, especially the wonky angle. Like, holy shit, when I saw him in the uh, If the Stars Were Eternal Mega Collab, I was so mind blown, man. Like, my God. Um, and uh, yeah, and just a quick note, just, just like, like I have something to say about the the Aussie man himself, um, uh, Searman, Ben Allen, um, thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to be a part of these mega collab rankings. Um, like I I already said this in the comments section of the Lost Art of Longing video already two days ago, but um. Like, I discovered BT last summer, and if it weren't for the Walking Angels reviews and your Mega Collab rankings that you've done, I would have, you know, hold this binary universe and these hopeful machines and if the, and the, and the, and the, and the stars were eternal in such a high regard. Like, I, and as a matter of fact, I wouldn't even consider BT as among my favorite artists of all time if it weren't for 
both your Mega Club rankings and also for the Walk Angles reviews. So shout out to him as well. Um, you are a genuinely awesome dude, and I am really, really looking forward to your next Mega Collab series on Apex Twin whenever I get the info. Um, it is Friday as I'm recording this video, and I literally just reacted to it the day it came out. Um, and this and this premiered on a Sunday or a Monday if you live in Australia or another country on the Eastern Hemisphere. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Sierman, for allowing me to be a part of these. Uh, I'm going to take a break from reacting to the Mech Collab series, at least until like a week, you know, after the 8592 Mech Collab breaking comes out. Or maybe, you know, the maybe, you know, like the week when it comes out or something. But yeah, other than that, I will be looking forward to that. And yeah, Apex Twin is another artist I love as well. So you can probably expect me to be a part of all six of the Mega Collab ranking videos for Apex Twin. So yeah, we have made it to the end of this reaction video, guys. Um, Before I sign off, um, I'm going to um, read out the list of participants who are in the RPS 101 tournament thus far. Spots have not been filled yet, but we got more this time. Like, like, how many do we do we have right now as of recording this? Um, hold on. Uh, we have fifty-seven people in the uh tournament as of recording this. Spots have not been filled. Um, to calculate how many people are left, just do one hundred and one minus fifty-seven. Just simple math. Um. So now I'm going to read out to you guys the list of participants who are in the RPS 101 tournament so far. So, yeah. Yeah, here we go. So the people who are in the RPS 101 tournament so far are Chicken Run and Barnyard Fanboy 2006, Brobomb, Kai, Rai4329, Retro Galaxy, NFL Fan 21, Santiago Estevez, World of VHS Fan 2021 slash Squidward is Life, Mason Wrigley, Charmin Guy. Esther, Esther Paredes, Little Run Mo Windows Cartoon, Kaish Marie Hernandez, The Wilkins Editor 287 slash WTE 162HD, 20th Century Aeon V on YouTube BFB, KP Official, Abudi Alajmi, Alex Nico 0811F, Turganite D, Raymond Garza World Cartoon The CEC Fan, Mitchell, The AZM Channel Gets Happy, Gary O'Connor, Esther Paredes Sardon, Hope Fishman, Christopher Official TTCJ NGF New Accounts, BFB Fan 2018, Juan Carlos Perez The Moshi Monsters Fan 2021, Darren Androl, Tiki Long, Vion Logo BFB 2013, Writings, Logos, and Facts About Everything, Debbie Gersh, Victor, Hyphe Bayerline, Miguel Sanchez, Mario 336 Christmas 909, Ryan Manginelli, Anthony James Natividad, The True Stories Fan 2021, Anthony The Sunny Day Fan slash Joe Robinette, Ricardo Roman Velez, Gabriel the Papermaster, Nesquik and Peter John Fan 2021, Megan Long, Jan Jasinski, MFS Studios, Camden Markley, Red Sus 2021, KBC Your Place for Media, Ween Fan 1994 Hashtag Easter, Atticus Mar yeah, Atticus um, Martin's channel, uh, Emma Emmanuel Tehran, Just a Meme, E Paddock, Alberto Vargas Jr., and Super Roblox HD. So yeah, uh, those are the fifty-seven mem. Here, are these are the fifty-seven people who are in the tournament so far. Spots have not been filled, so you still have a chance to request a reaction video to me. In this, in the comments of this video, I will like and heart your comment to let you know that you are in the tournament. However, if I pin your comment, then that means that it won't it won't count as your entry into the tournament. So if you want a better shot into entering the in, in entering this tournament then i suggest um uh going into the description and clicking on the link um in in the description to the rps 101 announcement video that i made um um like um like two to three weeks ago um if you want a better shot into getting into this tournament um and um uh, i'm trying to think what i was gonna say i i think i lost my uh trail of thought Thought here. Um, yeah. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Um, this June, I am starting a new series called Logo History Expansion Week. Basically, it's a companion series to Logo History. 
basically it's gonna be like logo history um but like it's gonna have like a lot of variants to logos you know that that i have done or in this case i will have done for season one um i, I have created a straw poll voting link um to determine which seven logos should I do for logo history expansion week number one. It'll run from June 27th to July 3rd of 2021. So, so I hope you're on the lookout for that. Um, and because it has, it has like, and, and because it's going to be like a lot of variants to logos that, that I will do in season one, then it's, then it's going to be like, like, then they're going to be like hard videos for me to make. So yeah, the link to the voting for Logo History Expansion Week number one will be in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. Um, thank you for watching, um, episode 24 of Rob Geo Reacts. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, share this one with your friends if you want to, and leave a comment down below. I might like, heart, and pin one of them, uh, requests for the next episode. <clears throat> and, um... Yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe as we're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Um, and uh, tomorrow is the Q&A, and now when I reach up to 6,000 subscribers. So I'm probably going to have to think of something else to do for 6,000 subscribers. Or maybe another Q&A video for 6,000 subscribers. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you next week for another reaction. Bye-bye, guys. It's over!